Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. What the mainstream media was too afraid to tell you about the news this week. This is one of the things I love to do on this show, show you what really happened. While the mainstream media obsessed about President Trump's Boy Scout speech and echoed the left's manufactured outrage about transgenders banned from the military, this, this is what really happened. A Democratic IT staffer, the top IT aide to Debbie Wasserman Schultz, he was arrested by the FBI while trying to flee to Pakistan. Now, the man had been under FBI investigation for months. He had access to Wasserman Schultz's iPad password, and he had access to the emails of many Democratic congressmen. Yet, yet Debbie Wasserman Schultz refused to fire him until he was arrested by the FBI. Talk about collusion. Talk about corruption, foreign nations, and email hacking. Did the mainstream media tell you about that? Yeah, that's what I thought. The mainstream media ignored it. Libertarian TV personality Kat Timpf was assaulted at a campaign rally by a hateful man who hurled water in her face. The left actually defended this attack. We heard only paltry condemnation from feminists, and the mainstream media didn't even seem to notice that. Congressman Steve Scalise released from the hospital six weeks after he was shot by a Bernie Sanders-loving radical progressive lunatic. The mainstream media didn't see fit to mention that part. In fact, I bet Democrats in the mainstream media couldn't even name the shooter anymore. An ultra-rich gay activist threatened to target Christians who oppose gay marriage. No, no, it's not enough anymore that we legalize gay marriage and protect LGBT people to live the lives they choose. Now Christians must be forced to celebrate the liberal ideology or else the gay lobby will punish the wicked. Their words, not mine. The mainstream media doesn't care. A new report shows that 73% of the 22 million people the CBO claimed will lose coverage if Republicans repeal Obamacare they're actually people currently being forced to buy coverage under the individual mandate. Huh, funny how the mainstream media failed to report that. British baby Charlie Gard's parents said it's too late to try therapy to save Charlie. Charlie died today. There's a translation here. If the UK government hadn't stood in the way, Charlie might still be alive. That's tragic. Meanwhile, Senator Chuck Schumer is proposing we bring a single payer system like that here to the United States. The mainstream media ignored that. The Dyke March, their name, not mine, in Chicago banned three lesbians who were carrying a pride flag adorned with the Jewish Star of David. Not only did the march refuse to apologize for that, now they're quoting Nazi anti-Semitic propaganda on their social media. Lovely. The mainstream media ignored that too. Last but not least, UC Berkeley, the beacon of free speech, they blocked conservative Ben Shapiro from speaking on campus because they claimed they couldn't find a safe space for him to speak. Oh, the irony. Then, after conservatives exerted public pressure, UC Berkeley caved and they found a space. Which makes you wonder why they couldn't find a space for Ann Coulter, huh? The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you. So we will. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.